Hey guys, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to do a little uh, live video for everybody here of the V22 Osprey here flying. Just a little hovering around. We're going to wait a little bit for uh, for folks to get on board and then we're going to uh, we're going to do it. So I'll give Steve the camera. All right, Steve, there you go. He got the stick. All right, he got the stick. Oh, we got two people on board. Good to see you guys. How Keep coming. Got? Two. Two guys. All right. <laughs> Uh oh, so I'm back to one. Back to one. Well, these are there's one loyal follower. We'll give so. everybody, we'll give everybody a little time to get on board. And we got a thumbs up too, so that's good. Got a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, cool. So guys, I tried to schedule it for 210, but when I did it, um, it reset it and it wouldn't let me schedule it. So I don't understand why. So anyway, so anyway, it's doing oh. its thing now. And we got three people. Got three Great guys. to see you guys. All right. All right. We guys are here. Okay, you guys can come back and watch this later here. So let's, let's start. Let me get this booted up here, Steve, and see if we can go. We're going a little lighter battery than normal. Lighter or heavier? Lighter. It's actually a little lighter because okay. I don't have a one charged up. It's. We'll give it a shot. If it's crazy, we'll stick another battery in. So. All right. Let's see. Let me plug this in. We got everything set where it needs to be. Should we get the right airplane? What's that? Got the right airplane? No, I don't actually. Good call. Let's see, let's set the uh, set the right air, correct airplane. That's what now. a co-pilot does. <laughs> What's that? That's what a co-pilot does. That's right. Hey, yeah, you got seven five people on board now. Okay, had seven, two in the way. Let's go to Osprey. Good call. Always good to have the right model in. <laughs> seven people on board. Seven people coming. Eight. Right, people are showing. Keep up. coming. Keep coming. There must be people at home. <laughs> <laughs> Must you be think? At home. All right, we got ten on board. Two digits. Ten are coming in. Uh, we're gonna get her all booted up. You guys can always come back and watch later. Um, we have an official video that me and Steve filmed earlier. So, uh, and it's actually hovering around, which we're just gonna do some hovering in this. But then we did it. We put another battery in. We did some forward flight transition, and then back to hover, and it was awesome. So, stay tuned for that, guys. We'll have it out today or tomorrow, I hope. But uh, it was a really good video. But I figured, let me, since I got another battery, let's do a little live with this. Just some hovering around, nothing fancy, because even with the cell phone, we can't, it, you can't, you, it's hard to see it. And I don't know what the quality, you know, it's, when it's going far away, it's hard to tell, you know, where it's at. So let's let's boot this up here. Hello to Brian and Chucky there. Good to see you guys out there. We'll see some flying here in a minute. Let's see here. Let it boot up. Craig Bibbins. Hey, Rich. So, hey, guys. <laughs> All right, we'll see. Let's let it sit there. Normally, when you plug this in, you want to let it sit for a while on level ground. Right yeah. now, I'm watching the ailerons. They're kind of they're kind of settling themselves down here a little bit. They're sort of neutralizing a bit. So you want to let this sit for a while. Yeah, I can see them moving down. Afternoon, Ken. All right. Ryder. All right, Media guys. in Tennessee. It's cold up there. Ouch. See, it's right. short sleeves and shorts out here, so yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's still guys. a little cool, but not you know, not crazy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, all right, let's see. Oh, here, stay, keep filming, Steve. Yep, I'll spin over there. Oh, all okay. right, we got more videos coming out, guys, on the uh, the Spitfire. Me and Steve just filmed this from Banana Hobby. This is the Spitfire Mark 24. And uh, we just did some killer videos of this thing. So we'll have those out hopefully this week too for you guys to check out. We did some different CGs and we did some different uh, control throws. Get these things, actually both of these are Banana Hobby folks. So, you know, check it out there. They have a whole line of 1100 millimeter Warbirds coming out that are really sweet. There's this one, the P40. There's a really sweet T28 coming out here next. So we'll have them all for you guys on the channel. The Osprey was flying really great today. I'm just letting it sit there. It, it's, it takes about 30 seconds to a minute to boot. Here, let me uh, let me run through the, the booting sequence here on this thing, or the uh, calibration. Here we go. You got to move the switch. There we go. Let's see if uh, you should see the nacelles move and spool a little bit. There we go. There's once. Usually it does it twice. So sometimes we have this happen, so we'll just do it again. There we go, let's see. Let them calibrate. Once, once. It's not doing it at all, Steve, what the heck? 
All right, let's try it again. Here we go. Yeah, I let it let it rotate down a little farther. There you go. That's supposed to be the calibration process to get this doing its thing. There we go. It should One. do it twice. Two. There we go. Okay. And now it's calibrated. That's you just have to rotate in the cells. You got to move the switch a few times to get it to do its thing. So, all right. Let's do a quick check of it real quick. All right. We'll run it up just a little bit. Speed controllers are working. Lift is working. Yaw's working. There we go. If you always want to check that stuff out, we'll have that again, guys, in the official uh, video that we're going to launch here that we filmed today. Great video. Two flights on it, one hovering, one flying around in forward flight. So stay tuned, guys. That's coming out in the next hope, hopefully day or so. So I just got to edit it. That's the thing. So, um, But I'm always checking. You always want to check your controls, the yaw, the yaw control in your nacelles, and then your speed control, which we just did, and then your speed controller between your uh, your, uh, your your forward and your back or your up. Uh, your front speed controllers and your rear lift fan and all that stuff and everything's working good i'll just check my transition here that's for forward flight elevator gets active we're not going to do any forward flight right now we'll do that we'll show you that in the video because you can't see it on the cell phone too much anyway we'll put that back up all right steve you ready Let's go. Let's take it on. Here we go. How many we got? 40 people. 41. Appreciate you guys coming out here and watching this stuff too. It's fun stuff. <laughs> I got to zoom on this, Rich? Uh, or is it just finger zoom? Yeah, you got to do a finger zoom. Well, here, come on. Uh, why don't you come on out a little farther? I think guys are, uh, yeah. And if you need to get close in on it, you can. So, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, you got to kind of finger zoom, so we're just going to do some, if, if that's the way it works, but yeah, that's let's it works. see. I got a lighter battery in, so let's see how that does with the lift fan. Forward, back, right, left. All right. There you go. Up in the air. Good afternoon from Scotland. Good afternoon from Florida. <laughs> nice flying machine, guys. Yep. Really nice good. flying model. Pacific Northwest. Good to see you. I was up in Whidbey Island for about a year and a half, going through flight school, so. Well, <laughs> it passed me a little fast there, Rich. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Every time you fly it, every time you change a battery, calibrate it. It's probably your best bet. Pretty controllable there, guys. Look at that. Sorry, there's a little bit of lag time on this camera, guys, but... Hello, Canada! Go Bills, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a pretty good game last night. Alrighty, there you pretty go. Pretty nice, huh?
That's it. Let's do a quick, let me do a quick battery check and if we got a little more left in there. Um, I've been using 30, uh, what are you, 3200s? I got a 2600 in there now, so, hey, you don't have to get in on that. I forgot we don't have the regular camera. Yeah, Rich it. started in helicopters when he was 13, so that helps if you have a little helo yeah. training, yeah. so. Yeah. But get on the simulator and fly this thing. It's the same thing, guys. Yeah, yeah. All right, here's what I'm going to have to do. I can't reach that, so I'm going to Velcro that out of there. Just a quick look. See what we got. Now, he's not going to transition to forward flight that's in the video that you guys will see in the next day or so. Yep. What do you think, Steve? 42. 55%. Man. All right. Uh, on a 26 pack, so that's not too bad. We'll go up again, fly around a little more. <laughs> Which simulator is good? 9.5 real flight. That's the that's the one I'm using, and it it's got this in there, and it it's basically the exact same thing. So that's a sweet model, guys. They're telling you to put it in forward flight, Rich. <laughs> we'll do that. Hey guys, we do have the video where we're doing forward flight. We're gonna put that out a little later. So if I do forward flight now, you're really not gonna see it. So we it's, Steve it's got shot fast. some really great video a little earlier where we we, we transition it back and forth, and it, actually we had one where the tramp motor. One motor didn't turn and it went into a spin and I had to take it out and recover. So you got that'll be pretty fun to watch. So stay tuned and check that out. I figured I'd just do some hovering for everybody today, but check it out at Banana Hobby. Again, guys, they got four color options for this thing. That's pretty cool. I actually like the Coast, I think the Coast Guard one stands out yeah, better than the others. The other one is the winter camo and the others are the kind of the military deals. So. Hello, pay it forward. Good seeing you again. Wind speed right now, you look at the windsock over here, pretty calm. Got a little bit of forward wind, actually right on the face right now, but it is up off the ground. Yep, that's pretty cool. See the wind sock over there, it's got a little bit of wind, but not much. <laughs> Don't bump me too fast there, so. You can actually fly this thing and land it in the forward mode. You just got to make sure your props aren't going to hit the ground. Like I said, get on the simulator, you can see it on there. That is cool, dudes. That is awesome. That is a nice little flying machine. Very cool. Again, you got uh, your roll control, which is controlled by your speed. Here, let me power it up a little bit. The only reason it didn't transition is because you can't see it on this camera phone too well. But it's in the video, so you'll see it on the video. And then your pitch control is varied by the speed control from your front rotors to the rear lift fan. And you can, you can, you can hear that here. This is High Ridge from Red Baron Hobby. Your yaw is done like this. When you motion, you can see the nacelles moving opposite yep. each other for yaw control. And then when you transition to forward flight, you you activate your um, you activate your elevator. So your elevator becomes active at that point. So now the elevator is engaged, and um, and you now fly it like an airplane with elevator and elevator. It flies great in airplane mode. It's awesome. So stay tuned, guys. That video is going to be out really soon. We're gonna—we just filmed it now. We got to get home, edit it, and today or tomorrow we'll put it out there. But really cool, really cool machine here coming from uh, from Banana Hobby. This is an awesome, awesome flyer. I'm real impressed with how how well this uh, this flies. But uh, yeah, it's a neat model.
How many we got, Steve? How many people are watching? 61. Which helicopter mode? What controls forward flight? No. Okay, well, here's what it is. Um, forward flight. You, this is only, um, uh, hopefully, every, actually, can you get closer? Just so hear me? Uh, yeah, but can't can, see it too well. Can you get me okay? Or? Uh, you. Oh, you. All right, well, here, let's go. You uh, or it. Which here, one? I'll get that. Was that good there? Nope, it's better there because you want both there? you. Both I don't want people to be able to hear me. I'm not sure they can all hear me. Hey, guys, hey. give us a thumbs up. Can you hear me okay? Anybody hear everybody? Can you hear Rich when he's talking? Say something, Rich. Hey, guys, can you hear me all right? Say, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Yep, two thumbs up. Okay, good. Okay, well, here's what it is. Thank this you. thing, guys, it's only five channels. That's it. You have aileron control, which in, in, in helicopter mode, in airplane mode, it's ailerons, but in, in, in airplane mode, it's ailerons. In helicopter mode, it's in hover mode, it's, it's, it varies the, 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 the RPM for the engines. Um, and then you have elevator, which in this case, it's, it's, it's forward and back on the nacelles, and then elevator when you're in forward flight. And then it's rudder, which there isn't a flight rudder for, for airplane mode. There's only, as you can see here, it rotates the nacelles. Um, uh, and then there's throttle control. Now you can increase your throttle or decrease your throttle. So that's four channels. Your fifth channel is simply airplane mode, which I have on the landing gear switch, is when you hit the switch, it rotates the nacelles at a constant rate, and it puts it into forward flight, and it activates your elevator. So now you're flying it like an airplane. And it shuts uh, down the fan motor. So elevator and aileron is all you have when it's in forward flight. So, so it's simple five channels, aileron, elevator, rudder, throttle, or engine speed, and then tilt rotor. That's it. That's, that's the only five channels you have. It's very simple to hook up. There's a, a, a flight control board, which I think I talked about in our live show. You guys can check out. And it's actually right under here. The board is right there. But all you have to do is just plug in your five channel receiver. That's it. You don't have to do any fancy programming or anything. You just have to do, you just, it's just a good idea to go through the, uh, the, the, the boot up sequence or the, the, the calibration that we do, you know, to get it flying. And that's all I just talked about it. We'll also, you'll see it in the video, um, in the flight video we're putting out here. But, uh, and then to assemble this thing, you put your props together in your hubs. You have three screws here and you plug in everything. And then you glue your rudders on and you glue your horizontal, you put your rod on and that's that's it. It's 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 pretty much done. You do put your you do put your wheels on. The other thing too is you can fly this actually without the wheels, and the wheels just pop right off. So you can fly it without the wheels and just belly land it if you want to. So um, we've been leaving the wheels on for right now and we'll probably do a flight without the wheels later. So any other questions, Steve? Anybody's asking? Not yet that I can see. No? Okay. <laughs> Um, all right, guys, I think we're going to sign off. Stay tuned. We got videos of this. Here, Steve, let's walk over here. We got videos of this coming out. Battery size. Battery size is a three, uh, sorry, four cell, 22 up to, what I've been using mostly is 32. I think 32, 32 is like one of the best sizes for this thing. I may try a 4,000 later, but 3,200 seems to give it the weight that you really want to fly it around. So. Uh, but it's a four cell system so and you can't modulate the motors different they're all activated by the speed controller which is activated by your throttle so they both work codependent of each other not independently and then we're also going to have spitfire videos guys soon we just filmed those today so we'll have all the spitfire videos out i hope to be at joe Nall if they have it yeah if we're gonna if joe Nall is going on yeah we're gonna we will be there for sure so um all right guys anything, anything? Do the boot up sequence again. Show them, show them okay, that they good, need to. Yeah. Okay, when you're booting this up, and we'll talk about this in the main video. Well, make sure to watch for that, guys, where we do the transition flying. Um, the boot up sequence is like this. In fact, let's just do it. We'll do the whole thing. It's turned off right now. I'm going to put these up. And then um, I'm going to leave it in landing mode, which is vertical mode. So what we'll do is we'll plug this in. And what will happen is you want to give it some time to boot up. In a second, the nacelles will go to vertical position. They'll move. There you go. The ailerons just twitched. But you want to have it on level ground, hopefully hard level surface if you can. <coughs> and I'm going to leave it here for a bit because everything's still kind of calibrating. I don't know how long you're supposed to leave it for, maybe a minute or so. But my ailerons are off right now. But little by little, they'll start to 
to calibrate. Everything seems to kind of come in. So you want to let it sit for a bit until all your flight controls have sort of settled down. So it takes some time. I don't really rush with this thing. I just give it some time to boot up and kind of get itself right with itself. They're still coming in a little bit. It's about 72 degrees out here. No, that's why we're why he's out here wearing shorts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It's Florida, man. <laughs> the way it ought to be. <laughs> All right, so, but anyway, once it's kind of settled down, the ailerons are kind of neutral. I think I'm on some unlevel ground, maybe why it is. But the 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 calibration sequence is just taking your flight con or your tilt mode switch, and you move it uh, 10 to 12 times. So we'll move it, but don't let it reach its final position. And then let it settle down and they should start to move. Let's see. There's once and it should do that two times. It's calibrating itself somehow. So, and again, I'm not 100% sure what's right or wrong, but if it doesn't do it two times, I just do it again. Well, Chris, we're only about 30 miles from Orlando and it's... So let's it's see 70, it 72 once. degrees over here. There's once. And there it is, second time. So it has to go through that sequence twice. Now it should be calibrated. Now it should fly right. And again, we'll talk about that in the uh, in the main video that's coming out. So the, the, the video Steve shot earlier was awesome because we transitioned into forward flight. We hovered around a little bit, transitioned, flew it around. It flies great like an airplane. And, um, and actually, it's pretty exciting because there's a scene in there where when I did the first transition, one motor started tilting forward, the other didn't, and it went into a spin. <laughs> and then I flipped the switch and recovered from it. And then we landed, did another flight control check, then we took it back up, we fly it around, we go into, into forward flight mode, and we fly it around like an airplane. Flew great, transitioned back to hover, and it's a great video, so stay tuned, guys. That is coming, so watch that. And that's where altitude is your friend. Yeah, you want to be up a little <laughs> high when you do it, just in case something like that happens. I thought that was, I thought it was going to spit in, but no, it didn't. It flew, it recovered nicely. So, um, anybody else asking stuff? Or? Uh, how much does it cost? I don't know. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Check it out at Banana Hobby. Uh, the links I'll put in the description below. I don't have them there right now, but you know, go to BananaHobby.com. Check it out there. Um, there's four color options too. So. Sorry, I Toronto. I don't think it's very expensive, but it's it's only five channels. That's all you need. You don't need any fancy. You don't need to do any programming. No programming. You just plug in five channels and go. So. Yeah, fifteen's coming out, guys. You'll see it here shortly too. What do you say, F fifteen? Yeah, these, who said arrows are coming out with an F fifteen? Oh, they have. It's who coming said, out. Who said that? Ah, uh, dang. <laughs> I don't know who that was. I didn't see the name we'll on see. there. But stay tuned. You might see it here. <laughs> see wings eighty eight. Hmm. Any more questions? Anybody asking stuff? How many people we got? How long did it take to learn to fly the only fly airplanes? Oh, it's, it's it's up to each individual, really. That's just yeah. This flies like a helicopter, and I've been flying helicopters since I was 13. It doesn't take. It's not hard to learn. You just got to get it. Mostly get a simulator and practice. That's kind of the best way. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. Anybody else? Anybody asking stuff? Uh, not really. All right, guys, I think we're going to sign off. How many folks have we got watching? 86. 86. Guys, thank you for coming. We appreciate that. That's awesome. We uh, we try to give you guys some live shows when we can. I just wanted to give everybody a heads up, do a little flight demo for everybody live. Renee, I think uh, you might want to do that that the calibration sequence a couple times because you, you need to have those nacelles bounce twice before it really gets calibrated. And, I, and that's the problem I have with mine. I'd get it up in the forward flight and I'd try to freaking roll over. And I kept chewing up. I'd eat, I actually ate one of my ailerons because the motor would keep flipping backwards when I'd try to take it off. So, But I'm pretty sure it's a calibration process you got to go through. Yeah, just take your time with it. Don't rush. You know, just let it boot up and then go through your, your, your calibration and, and it'll be good. So. Yeah, it's a, neat, uh, it's a neat machine. So... Okay, guys, we are going to sign off. We're going to shoot some more video of more stuff, and then we'll uh, we'll get some videos out for you. Stay tuned for the uh, stay tuned for the flight demo on this. We're going to have an unboxing and assembly of this also, so stay tuned. Those are coming. We'll have the Spitfire flight demo video coming out here in the next couple days as well. 
And then we'll have the L39 from Banana Hobby as well. Uh, and those will all be coming. So stay tuned, guys. Please like and subscribe. You know, hit that notification bell. Hit that like button if you guys like the video. Liking is the thing that helps spread our videos out to more people. So we appreciate that. No, no steerage on the front wheel, is there? No, there's no steering at all. It's just, okay. it's just three wheels. And, We're just and rolling wheels, forward. The wheels can you can remove them just like we talked about. In fact, you can take them all off. You can put this on its belly. And you can take off like this, and you can fly it around, and you can land it on the belly. We haven't done that yet, but we'll probably do that. And in fact, you can see the pods actually stabilize it, you know? So, but you probably don't want to put too much load on the pods, but as long as you know it can fly it well, you can fly it around, you know, gear up like this, you know? So, so yeah, it's pretty neat. Let me stick these back on. Those just pop in place. That's how easy it is to build this thing. Hello, Arizona. Oh, that's the nose. Hang on, wrong one. <laughs> Put that there. I'm trying to correct here. Flight stabilizer was like, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> All right, very cool, guys. All right, guys. We will let you all go. Stay tuned for the videos on this and the Spitfire. They're coming any day now. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Melbourne, Florida. That's where we're at right now. So, anyway, <laughs> hey, let me. Uh, here's Rich. All right, gonna shut you guys off. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> yeah, let me try to swap the camera. All right, guys, I got you here. I was gonna sign off, but we got 73 guys watching. All right, this is this is excellent. At 80. All right. All right, guys, stay tuned. We'll have this out pretty soon. We'll have it out real soon for everyone. Let's see. Uh, Hope you get the what the new 190. Yeah, we'll have the F1 number, no FW190 to show you guys. Definitely. Um, let's see what do we got here. Cool thing, Hilo from Norway. Yep, yeah, somebody from Norway, Steve. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. This is cool. This is awesome. Let's see. We get the message boards up there. All right, guys, we're signing off. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the the, the 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 actual film videos we did on the Osprey. And we do appreciate you guys watching. And uh, stay tuned. We'll see you guys next time. Problem is, is you don't.